In this video, we're going to be looking at ChatGPT Vision. That is actually the ability for the AI to see, very similar to how we do with our eyes and comprehend different elements within an image. And we can then ask it questions based on that. My favorite example for nonprofits by far is to take a screenshot of their donation page, feed it into ChatGPT and actually ask it to provide three ways the donation page can be improved using psychology and behavioral science principles to boost donations. So I've come to www.org.au and I think they've already got a really good donation page. We've got the option to choose between months or monthly, different payment methods. We actually see a financial representation of $45 going to plant trees, etc., etc. There's different types of appeals, adopting an animal, protecting the whales, other ways to give, bequests, send virtual gifts, workplace giving, the comprehensive breakdown of the dollar amount and how much goes to wildlife conservation. So this is gonna be a really interesting one because I think they've done a really good job already. But we're gonna come here to ChatGPT. we're gonna click on this little paperclip icon we're going to upload an image. So I've already got that screenshot there. So I've uploaded the image and I've got a little prompt here that just says, please analyze the following donation page. And as a psychology and behavioral science expert, provide three ways the donation page can be improved to boost future donations. Now what's happening is AI is actually analyzing that full image, the full screenshot that we've uploaded. And it's leveraging this instruction, the prompt that we've given it, to now fulfill the task. Okay, so let's have a look at what the AI has suggested. The first suggestion was to incorporate social proof and impact stories. So it's recognized that the page already uses statistics and specific donation amounts to show the impact. For example, $45 can help plant more trees. But the suggestion is to enhance the use of social proof by featuring testimonials from other donors about why they chose to donate. Also includes stories or case studies showing the outcome of these donations to create a more personal connection and motivate potential donors to seeing the real impact of their contributions. So I think that's quite a nice uh, suggestion. Second one is urgency and scarcity. The page mentions that wildlife and the habitats are at a critical moment and the suggestion is to increase the sense of urgency by including a timer for matching gift opportunities or highlighting limited time campaigns, for example, double your impact or donations will be matched with for the next 20, 48 hours. That's great if they obviously had that opportunity um, to do that. So that may not be as applicable as the first one. And the third one is to simplify the donation process. So there's multiple donation options and the methods are provided. Streamline the donation process to reduce decision fatigue. That's actually a really important component in fundraising multiple choices can make it a lot harder for a donor to actually choose. So instead of multiple buttons and choices, simplify the layout to guide the user more straightforwardly towards completing the donation. Use a single prominent donate now button and perhaps offer, offer a drop down menu for different amounts and frequencies after the button is clicked. This can help keep the user focused on the action of donating without being overwhelmed by options. So I think that's, that's really useful feedback. As I said, I think the first one was great. The second one, maybe not as relevant with the, the campaign timing and the third in terms of simplifying the donation process. But above all else, this provides you an opportunity to think about is what it's saying correct or not? Do you disagree with it? And if so, why? You could continue this conversation and ask for 10 more suggestions. You can then take this to your team and say, these are some of the ideas that I'm throwing around. What do you think? You can also ask your donors, ask them to see if anything that the AI has actually provided resonates with them and their experience of donating. So it is a tool, use it as that, but vision is really, really helpful in analyzing any type of donation pages, campaigns, the visual aspects of them, social media posts. One of my favorite little tweaks is to actually ask, what is the emotion that this visual would elicit in a viewer? with a donation page, you can even ask, will the visuals likely elicit an emotion that will drive an action? 
in this case, donate towards your cause. So you can go a lot further, but by giving the AI the image, it allows it to firstly comprehend what is happening in there, and then you can follow up with other questions and prompts. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.